Welcome to Bergen. It's rainy and no one's in Noggin Depot. Hooray, hooray. No one's taking photos. So yay, I get my photo. Okay, let's go explore Bergen. Welcome to Bergen. We're here with a very delicious coffee. And I'm so excited to show you around. This whole thing is called Friggin, and I hope I said that right. And what it is, it's a series of wooden houses that are most representative of early North European establishments. So let's go inside and I'll show you what they're at. I'm gonna finish my coffee as well. Okay, to get in this structure, there's only like a couple of different entrances. As you can see, down here. So here's like some tiny little houses that you could buy. In our trip to Bergen, we're gonna see a variety of different things and it's gonna be great. So I came here for a couple of stuff. One, I wanted to see the part of Bergen that like most travel vloggers don't show you. So we're gonna explore some graffiti. We're gonna go on an awesome hike. We're gonna try to see what the best and worst aqua V are. Yeah. I was going to do a whole video tier ranking test on that and no, it's not great for a tier video. Oh, hey, look where we're in. I'm going to show you the oldest part of Bergen right now. Oop. Look how cool this is. That's like an old Japanese samurai environment. So now when you hear that there were these big fires in Europe that disrupted the entire cities, you can kind of get an idea of why it was so bad. When the floor is wood, when the walls are wood, and when the roofs are wood, Smokey the Bear says only you can prevent forest fires or house fires. But look at all these cool stairs going up. Okay, now I want to show you something else in this really cool part. Oh, moose. Ride it, my pony. Now, what I'm experiencing and you're not is the smell. Like all around here, you can smell the wet wood and it's wet because it's been raining for the last week that I've been here. You guys, it's an old laundry drying thing. How cool. We're not gonna test it because I don't, think they want me to touch it but look at that so you would crank this top down and then that would raise and decrease the pressure foot and then you go ironing not drying I am so excited you guys this is the first museum that we've been in look how beautiful this is like all the paintings on the walls and this nice little corner cabinet. Okay, now this whole room was reconstructed to how it would have been in 1700s. There's a couple of things though. So there was always rules everywhere you go. Well, if you get out of hand, your name goes on the wall of shame and it stays there until you learn your lesson. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? Check this out from the 1700s. This would be like an old fire pit. It would generate so much heat and you would just sit in here. Maybe if you were a bill, you carve your name on there. Now this shows like the life of the Hanseatic world and they were huge into like doing merchants and trading and stuff up here in the Nordics. So this is where we're in Bergen. Up north, there was more of the dried fish. They did go into London to bring in like a lot of the wool and the, the sheep stuff for clothes. And then they would just trade all along this northern coast of everything. Like they would get the wheat and all sorts of grains and stuff from the Baltic. I think it's pretty cool that now we actually see, like you learned about them in the Baltics, but now we actually see what, um, and how they would live in one of these settlements. Okay, it looks like the bar has become busy. Let's go to the next room. A very old document from 1808. 
and then you would have the smell of all the merchants who hadn't showered. Okay, let's go see if we can find like an old shower room because I think that'd be cool. Do they open? Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to go in there though. Puerto Zabierto, but... Um. Okay, let's go walk around and I will show you a couple more things. I found a tunnel that seems pedestrian. Or like, I guess, bicycle -ian. So we're gonna go see where this tunnel takes us. We have some natural cave water in here. I wonder if this used to be for cars for a while and then they had to expand it or that the cars were like, mm, we don't want to go one way anymore because like there are some places where you get north of Norway and even in the Faroe Islands where you have these tunnels like this, but they're kilometers long and they're one way tunnels. So then you have this like pull out section like you see here where if there's two cars that um, come at each other at the same time, one pulls over. I I found more art. What? Okay, we're totally going in here. We're on an art tour of Bergen. Who knew that they had such cool graffiti and a style that I haven't seen a lot in the UK yet. Ooh, this one's nice. Some sun. These are really good lines. If you have not painted before, white is really hard to get that that consistent without a dripping. Other colors are easier because they cover more. There's, there's what? A hole in the middle of the bottom of the sea. Oh, this is a cool thing. Look at that. I'm really glad you guys can see all of this fisheye stuff with this new camera. Okay, this is a new style I haven't seen before. Dragon style is what we'll call that. Now, how? they got this watermelon all the way up there. You know, art is cool and that's why we go look for it. There's these berries. I wonder if it's done by the same watermelon person. These berries up here. Those are pretty. So you have a spaceman. You have some equations and Space Force. <gasps> How cool would it be to have a boat? And that is your art. So you could own this boat and have all of that as your like own private art gallery. I'd be so down for it. Cartoony stuff. I like how they do the colors. They do a lot of blending here. Like where you have this gradients of the colors changing. Now we're, we're somewhere. Oh, we're at a sauna. That has to be the sauna right there. Well, it doesn't look like, look like it's open right now, so we're not going to go do sauna. But how cool would that be? You can just like go do sauna and then jump in the sea. Okay, I'm going to see when that's open. Although it looks like Albert Einstein, it's not. It's Edward Greek. Okay, I think it's time now to explore, to kick off summer 2024. Cheers. Book. Now, if I look tired, it's because I am. I've been up since 2 a.m. Um, you know, you have to get up sometimes early to catch a catch an inexpensive flight so you can go to expensive countries like Norway. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the wind and the not rain for a while and watch all of these. There's like a little fairy dude there. He's going somewhere. The water's going somewhere. Okay, so for lunch we have smoked halibut toast thingy. I don't know what this is called, but it's really good and I had it all the time when I lived in Sweden and I plan on eating an abnormal amount of toasties like this while I'm here. Is it good? I mean, I guess it's fish. 
I thought you ate, like, berries and bugs, not fish. Are you really a seagull? Yeah. Okay, bye. It took me a while to, uh, get that bird. <laughs> Every time I tried to record him, he kept flying away. Okay, I saw this, like, pointy building, and I was like, hey, let's go in. And then there was three options on different things that I could go into. So, we may be going into another museum, or we may not. No idea, but there's a lot of people here from the cruise ship, so we're going somewhere. Guys, Rosencrantz Tower was built by King Magnus, one of the two Norwegian kings I know. Okay, we have to go see what it is. Do I, is it this? Do I buy a ticket? No? How cool! So the guy who was like, uh-uh, no way, I don't want Scotland. I just want to build cool houses. He built this. I wonder if that's a picture of his face up there on the org chart. I want to go inside and see what King Magnus built. Because this is cool. Okay, maybe it's this way. Let's go see what King Magnus built. I think we should go down first. <laughs> Can you imagine that? The Viking King Hakon Hakonson! The Viking King Hakon Hakonson! His son built this, you guys! Look at this! You guys, I'm having to duck. I'm short. How cool is this? So King Magnus used to live in Bergen. I find that fascinating that we just came from Scotland, where Hakon Hakonson tried to take over the Hebrides and the rest of Scotland. And they were really all just living here in Bergen, just like an hour flight from Scotland. So they kept prisoners in these dungeons. And the prisoners really wouldn't have any fresh air or light unless they could sneak some stuff outside. Bunka, bunka, bunka. Oh, look at this. Okay, let me show you where we're at. So, we are currently in the Rosencrantz Tower. And then there's like a middle thing and then another castle thing. We're gonna try to go see all of them. Now, in the 1940s, during World War II, like a ship rolled into the harbor with a bunch of explosives and exploded and damaged a bunch of this castle. So we don't see it all today, but where we're at now is still original and the top parts have been rebuilt. You're dirty, sorry. I just noticed you. Okay, this is pretty cool. Look at this. So all of the ceiling has been re-put back on after that explosion. This, maybe, what would it have been? The banquet hall? You know where the Viking King Hakon, Hakonson's at. So one thing I don't understand, in all of the movies and TV shows and stuff, it shows medieval people as round and fat, and I don't know how a round fat man would get in there. Oh, this is clearly where some religion happened. Because we have like a, we have a place where you would do some praying with, right now it's a replicated of what the stained glass window used to look like. Then we have a head, maybe of King Magnus. Um, some windows where they could get some fresh light. And probably in here, there was like another statue of like whatever gods that they're praying to. Oh, let's go up these stairs. Leave a light on, leave a light on. Cause there's a monster. So there's a passageway up here, and it doesn't look like we can cross. So 
So we're gonna go up that. I mean, that's pretty. Okay, so here we have our whole history of King Magnus. And in here, nowhere does it say, stopped attacking Scotland. They do call him the Law Mender though, so maybe that's what they're referring to, that he decided to finally make peace with people around. This is his chamber, like where King Magnus would have slept. What's in here? What would he have done? Maybe this is like a poop room? Is it? 100%. 100%! We found where King Magnus pooped, you guys! Okay, I'm curious. Cuckoo! So down here, you can see the very end of the light of where his peacekeeping poop would have done. I kind of like how it's like down this little hallway too. Where you have to make a couple of turns. And then there probably would have been a door. But how cool. I forgot. I was told to go up and down and up and down, but I got distracted by fashion. This is another fancy person's bedroom. So just like a socialite. That's him and his nice Okay, we're gonna break this piece down. We have him and his weird, whatever they call those things, and he's pointing at the floor, like with some phallic type shape, like. I love how confusing people are with their art, but that's really pretty. Okay, I think we go upstairs now. How pretty. Ooh, selfie time. The things I learned though is like, I don't know if King Hakon Hakonson, the Viking King Hakon Hakonson, was liked that much or not. Because whenever Magnus took over, the Pope gave Magnus a thorn from the crown of Jesus Christ. And it was kept in like silver and glass and casements and stuff. And that seems like a pretty valuable type thing to give to someone, you know, coming up from the Vatican. So, to celebrate my birthday, I'm going to try every Norwegian schnapp they have. Norsk Aquavit. We have 10 different schnapps we're gonna try. Slimer's Tuffle Aquavit is made according to an old recipe. Maybe I should put you up here, because there's a lot of motorcycles now. And I don't want to sound edit that much on this. Okay. We'll wait till the motorcycle goes away. The Simers Tackle Aquavit is made according to an old recipe from Simers & Co. Big Words Distillation Company. The taste is a rich and spiced aquavit with a distinct yet rounded caraway notes. <coughs> um. Um. <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday. Um, yeah, no, man. No. I would rather drink dive bar whiskey than that. Instructed that if I put my umbrella in my jacket, I can have two hands. It's like one of those crazy hats that you wear whenever you're a child. Okay, the only problem with this is that when the wind blows up, it takes my. Um, takes my umbrella up with me. It'd be very cool to see inside that church. But right now we just see a standing stone. I'm not sure why. I like up here we can see all sorts of pretty stuff up there. Cafe Vintage. Okay, we're on this cute little street. There's little fairy lights up there. And then there's a pier on the, ooh, I like this umbrella. We see a woman and a fish. I'm kind of hungry. So we're gonna go find, maybe I will find a fish. Right? I don't know. This is a fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoever did that, thank you for making me laugh. Okay, so I found this really pretty flower. 
Floyd Ballon. Let's go see what this is about. I think we're gonna go up a mountain, you guys. So we're going up about a kilometer in distance, about 300 meters, and we're moving at a rapid speed of seven meters per second. It was from a sign and I forgot what the sign said. Yay, we're out of the tunnel. So that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh no, my umbrella is going to fly away. Let's come over here. Check this out. I love how we can see the sun appearing. Ah! Umbrella is going to fly away. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Now I have a pointy stick. I like how we can see the sun over here and we see all the fjords. The fjord is not to be confused with the first. Oh, my hat's gonna fly off now. I didn't really plan my outfit very well today, did I? Well, that's okay. At least I have clothes on. It could be worse. I could be up here naked. Look how pretty this all is. Now riding in the funiclore. It's not the most economical way. But in weather like today, it was really nice. Check this out. Sideways rain. Only in the Nordics. Okay, there's all sorts of activities up here. Let's go see what the different activities are. So we have a standing stone. with some nice benches that we can sit on. A nice boutique that you can buy a jacket in. We have departure and toilets. And a giant roll. I feel like that it's selfie time. <laughs> Why is he spanking the monkey? I don't know. But this is gonna be fun. <laughs> have you ever been spanked by a troll? Only a normal. Trolls Garden! Did you know that trolls were a thing here? I didn't, and this is super cute. Look! Over here we have a pig troll. Ooh, it's a squishy flower. Let's try to get up to these trolls. Wait, please do not climb on the trolls. What are people doing to these poor trolls? Okay, walking over here. How am I... Look at this! These trolls have laid a death path. They do not want to be seen. Fancy helicopter. Okay. Maybe when I grow up I want to be a troll maker. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's go finish looking at them. Oh! Is this going to be a cool shot? Maybe. Let's go for a hike. We're in this really misty forest. And it's beautiful. Cool. All you can hear on this hike are these waterfalls that are going like up and down the um, the hills that we're on here. Look how pretty! And there's trail runners up there. I'm not that energetic. I don't know if you guys can see this, 
But check this out. There's this beautiful reflective lake right there. And I'm expecting to see Bob Ross somewhere around here. There's like no wind. Oh, there's a bench. Okay, let's go to this bench and try to get a view of this lake a little bit better. I don't know. I think a lot of this water comes to feed the city because here it says like no swimming, no fishing, drinking water sign. This is my little lake. Ah, that was really... <laughs> I just stepped in the mud. Okay. Look at that. There's all these little baby waterfalls. Baby waterfall. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger. This one's super cute. Look at that. Look at this. Surprise waterfall! Look how pretty that is. Wow. So we took a turn and we're above like a layer of clouds and it's just like this tundra, tundra climate, like, make you longer. Look at those little tiny flowers, little baby flower. that out. It's, I love views where you can't tell how cool they look on camera. So the other thing I don't understand is like there was a lot of people at the bottom of the trail and they all passed me and then I haven't seen any of them since. Like I would have expected to see, see some of them turn around so maybe they're on a different trail up here. I don't know, but it's beautiful. And look at this, you guys. This all! We have this all! Okay. Scotland even follows me here. So there's all sorts of stuff up here. Like, there's some posts. This is clearly built a while ago. It looks like there's a fence post from early to mid-1900s. And we have this beautiful waterway ahead here. Are you liking my pointing stick? I feel like a magician. Da -da! Shh. And then, if we walk in front of this, check this out, you guys. Look at this. We have this beautiful lake. There's cool stuff up here. I mean, just look how gloomy that looks. Let's figure out. And I wanna see what this red box is. I keep seeing them around here. Okay. Ah, oh, it's a first aid kit. Okay, that's really cool. So if you get injured or whatever, and if you don't have the right stuff, you go to one of these red boxes and you get what you need. Norway. Norway! And then there's like a little uh, number on the box. So if you need to call and rescue, you can be like, hey, I'm at number 106. I need some assistance. We're going up here to this.
So it looks like half of the building has fallen in. Maybe, I don't know what's happened. That's like a lot of the building that's fallen down. There's this really cool pipe structure here. Look at this. Really cool pipes. Do you think it's open? Hello? Oh. Okay, Puerto Cerrado. Let's keep walking around though. So there's some nice art on the wall. Zoom out a little bit. Um, maybe it's like an old power station or something? Or a battery is part of the war? Maybe. Like that looks very um, boorish. There's a little statue up here that we're walking to. So, let's music and jump cut to the statue. A little old troll sign. That's so cool. <laughs> so if you're from Bergen and you know what we're hiking to, let me know. Like, I think we're at the top of one of the seven peaks that surrounds Bergen and this marks the top. Maybe? No idea. But we made it and I feel massively accomplished. Woohoo! Look! No idea. But it's a cool little pile of stone. So whoever put this here, thank you. It's pretty awesome. Stone! Up there, that's the power station. This is the great view that we have today. I love it. I think it's probably like 12, 13 degrees out. It's so nice. Like a little bit windy, um, but it's bright. The sun is shining through every once in a while. This cloud will blow over in a second, but, or a day. So I've come down on the other side of the radio tower and there are these things with stairs and it sounds like a waterfall but it's just the wind so if you get sick of staying out here if you're hiking you can go in there and dry it off oh this one has a sign no i definitely hear water but where is it water coming from okay i see a sign so check this out can come in here Okay, look at this. Little, little thingy. So, let's see, where are we? Here, history. There used to be a house right here and like the little pointies that we're seeing are there and there. How cool. And someone is running around here naked. So if we find someone naked, I know where I know where they should go back to the house. Okay, let's continue. This happened. Should we go down? Yeah, let's go down. Look at this cute little street, you guys. This is totally not on our path to go get food and to feel like a human being again. But look at this cute little patio and all of these puertas that have stories that lie behind you. Oh, this door is sick. Hola. Take a look at this stoplight. Stop light, push light. I want one of those. 
Okay, so we're in a high. Oh, hi. Hi, Bee. You're in the vlog. We're in a high tourist season right now. Middle of summer. I'm not sure when this is going to post because I'm tired and I need some time away from my computer for editing. I love how quiet this town is. Like, middle of the week. Look at these thingies. Fruit Loops. Should we sit on the Fruit Loop? I think so. Fruit Loop sit. It works. I don't actually know what they're for, but that was fun. Okay, so we've reached a decision point. These are all of the decisions we could take. And we even have faces here that we can go stare at. Let's go stare at the faces because they're staring at us. Faces. What way should we go? Okay, let's go down here. Scott to Gotten. I don't know why we're choosing this way, but it's pretty. And I hope it leads us to food. That would be enjoyable. All cats are Spanish, remember? Hola, gato. Wanna be in the vlog? Come be in the vlog with me. Here, scratching post. Okay, fine. Come back. I would like you to be in the vlog. Okay, well, that cat was more interested in scratching himself with plants than with me. This is so pretty. I like these huge flag posts that we see up here. And then we have houses that are pretty close together. And what you can't see, so like on the other side, there's a couple of rows of houses. And then there's the sea, the fjord. The fjord. I wonder if a fjord is the same as a fort. I'm gonna have to figure that part out. Ooh, strange plotson. I mean, this is so cool. I have no idea. I have, as I mentioned, I've been very busy at work and I've done nothing to research. Whoa, Bergen or even keeping my face in the frame. Um, so we're just going and exploring and seeing what's here. And maybe I have ran into someone's private yard. We'll see. I just, okay, I have to, oh wow. This is so beautiful. I hope I'm not in someone's private garden, but look at this door. You guys, they have the most beautiful doors here. And then this door, look at these. It's so pretty. Oh look, we can come on this little way. Ooh, I haven't seen this flower before. Smell it. Mm. it smells like flour and it feels like rubber. Maybe it's flour rubber. I don't know what it would be used for though. Oh, hola. Kita. Want to be in the vlog? You're a really big cat. You're big. Hi. What's your name? Should we interview you? What do you like to eat? You have spider webs in your face, dude. Okay, well, enjoy your motorcycle nap. Yeah, adios. Okay, we finally found a cat. I wanted to be in the vlog. This is pretty cool. Like we're going up and down on these tiny little paths. You have these trees. And then right next, the Viking Sea. Or the Firth or the Fjord. Pretty sure it's the Firth. So also on the sides here, you can kind of see this little punka punka punka, the little yellow. Maybe camera picks it up. Maybe not. All along the edge of the sea there, there's all sorts of like saunas and swimming areas and very, very cool stuff. So some of them are like membership only, some of them are public, but the yellow containers are where you're not supposed to go out further into the sea. So you can see it a little bit better right there. We're going to the very edge of the Bergen City Island and there's this cool thing that I saw and I don't, don't understand. 
because I thought this was just Canadian. But in a lot of ways, like this whole area reminds me of where I'm from in Canada. So we have an art stick. Did the Vikings put it there? Because I don't think the First Nations people of Canada came out that far. Let's see how the org chart is. Okay, tiny little dude on the bottom. And then we have a bird. And then it looks like we have a very erect man at the very top. You know what it means? Because I could use some help. I don't entirely know what it means. But as you stare at the erect statue <laughs> in the back, I'm gonna walk you up to the very, very tip <laughs> of Bergen. This is definitely an adult channel. We're at the edge of Bergen. <laughs> that oh boot pretty cool eh we were right I looked at the back side <laughs> that's gonna get old and it is a Pacific Northwest totem and it looks like it was given from Seattle to Bergen in 1970. Okay, so I just recorded something and I actually didn't hit record. So I'm going to record it again and show you guys all of these things that are very awesome for a rainy climate. So first, under this nice like awning patio sort of thing, we have a really cool table tennis area. We have all sorts of art which I think is cool because it allows kids to do something when it's raining outside. We have this awesome, like, functional fitness area. So if I get bored at the gym in my hotel, I'm gonna come here and, like, you can do everything. I really, really appreciate that they say, this is specifically for the human flag. And it works every muscle inside your body except for the brain. So if you want a full body workout minus brain, Human flag. So under this little awning, we see a swing, which is useful if it's rainy and you're a child and you want to swing and not get wet. And then we have a tree of ball. Ball tree? Ball tree. That rhymes with poultry. Ball tree. And then that's the Viking Neptune cruise ship. So I think there's like two or three cruise ships in town. I guess there's a massive cruise industry here. Um, I heard some people talking about cruise stuff. Oh, look at this. I think we can have a skateboard. I'm not a skateboard, but let's see. Okay. <laughs> Works for me too. Oh, that's fun. A wire net to catch kids. I found very green men. Green men. So up here, we have so many activities. Like we have a shipwreck and the ship is falling onto people's faces. This dude here in the middle is blaming the guy who's looking at the sun for something. Don't set your eyes on the sun, it will blind them. I think that's how it goes. These guys are chilling. Oh, and we have homegirl up here with a whale on her head. She has a very strong neck. I wonder what this is. I really need to do a history tour or something so I can be more educated. But I kind of like making up my own story. These guys again, oh, this guy's gonna stand and watch. He has some binoculars. And then up here, it looks like not a very nice scene. I don't know, something probably with using humans as you shouldn't use them. Ooh, and then now we have some dudes with swords. Oh, we have a Viking ship. I wonder if that's King Hakon Hansonson. The Viking King Hakon Hansonson. Is it? Could that be the king? Or is that Magnus? Who is this? As I only know two Norwegian kings. 
that it's either gonna be King Hakon Hanselson or Magnus. Okay, let's continue to explore the realm of King Magnus. Thanks for watching. Let's go explore Norway even more. Yay. Leave it to me to find a Tennyson poem in some alleyway with where we're at. Twilight and evening bell, and after that the dark. And may there be no sadness or farewell when I embark. For though from out are born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. I really like these hidden graffitis. Find.